Look, it's witching hour. So let's talk about toadstools. But not just any old toadstool, specifically this one, the fly agaric, also known as Amanita muscaria. It's the mushroom most associated with witchcraft, deranged German fairy tales, and tiny elderly elf men. Even Wikipedia admits it's arguably the most iconic toadstool. But hold on, why should you be interested in some rancid fungus? Well, because the fly agaric is also a highly potent drug. It has a long history of being used by shamans, druids, and just generally the type of people who would entertain the idea of eating Tide Pods. Even today, where you don't have to venture into the woods anymore to get drugs, it's actually still being regularly used by the really foolhardy and desperate to get high. Just look at this testimonial I found on an online drug forum. User Geo describes his experience of consuming Amanita muscaria like this. I felt absolutely retarded. I felt like I had lost all intelligence and was now just a vegetable. To me, this sounds very promising. It's comforting to know, if you're sick of this existence, you can always just chew on a toadstool cap and enter the fairy realm. Ride the fungus. Become the fungus. The old enlightened shamans of Siberia knew this, when they consumed the sacred fungus and then urinated into each other's mouths to improve the drug's effects. They also supposedly fed it to the reindeer and then received transcendental golden showers from them, an all-natural organic high, I suppose. But let's get a bit into the science behind this. Just how does this inflamed phallus of a mushroom weave its intoxicating magic? If you've heard about Amanita muscaria being used as a drug before, you're probably thinking now, well, it's a psychedelic drug, like LSD or something. And that's correct, but only half of the story. The fly agaric can also be categorized as a deliriant, which, like the name suggests, is basically just the shitty nightmare version of a psychedelic drug. Basically, people in a delirium are often caught up in a multiple hour-long frenzy without being able to sustain consciousness, let alone rational thought for more than a few seconds. To illustrate this a bit better, here are a few examples from other people who describe their toadstool trips online. I felt extremely disoriented. I was in bed and covered with a putrid funk. I only later concluded it was sweat, since its olfactory qualities bared little resemblance to any other secretion of the male human body. I could hear what sounded like strange children's voices outside my window, but when I checked, I saw no one outside. Well, that sounds like a truly fun time. Speaking of fun time, here's a short list of possible drug effects. Euphoria, strong nausea and vomiting, increased mental clarity, abnormally high salivation and perspiration, sexual feelings, seizures and coma. Feels like this fungus hasn't quite made up its mind yet as to whether it wants to open your third eye or kill you. And that actually makes sense, if you look at the chemicals it contains and that are responsible for these effects. On one hand, you have the substance mustamol, which is a GABA antagonist. This basically means that in the brain it acts like the neurotransmitter GABA, which generally inhibits and depresses brain activity. So mustamol is what's responsible for the coma part of this fungus experience. On the other hand, you've got ibutanic acid, which supposedly does the opposite thing. It mimics the neurotransmitter glutamate, and therefore acts like a stimulant. As you can see, there's a bit of a paradoxical dynamic going on here, a sort of tug of war between neural excitement and depression. You feel like you've ascended to the fifth dimension while, in actuality, your brain is shutting down. Just say no to drugs. Well, that's it for today's edutainment video. I hope you enjoyed it. By the way, you're now a legally certified shaman and can drink your own piss without repercussions, but I would caution you to make only modest use of this divine entitlement. The only thing that's left for me to say now is thanks for watching and Godspeed.